scariest elevator ever. Hey family, the first Chinese person I came out to was my beautiful waitress here at this restaurant. <laughs> She's great. Tiffany is great. She is. I'm a normal girl. She's a normal girl. Yeah. A normal, beautiful I, Chinese girl. Yeah, I like, uh, I like the guy. I don't like, I, I don't like the girl. I want the friend of boy, a boyfriend, and I'm a single. Worst bike ever. Hi. Hello. Jimmy, can you help me? Why are you and Coco? Eating lunch with workers. It's great. My food's not here yet. See? <laughs> Bus rides are an exciting thing in China. No, they're really not. So I'm sitting here and Ricky's like, are you hot? <laughs> I guess I am. So I'm getting a haircut right now. I don't know if I really needed it, but I figured... I don't know, I'm kind of bored. I was like, I'll get a haircut, I guess. You watched your hair twice. Once before and once after. <laughs> so we're walking and I literally almost stepped on a frog. <laughs> oh, that was nice. <laughs> this little cat. My new home. I just discovered this. Oh man, isn't that cool? Yeah! I go on in like two minutes. So I just got done with my third audition and I made it. And they were like, no, oh, you're, you're in. Go straight through, you don't have to audition again. And I was like, whoa. And there's been three of us that have done that so far. So... <laughs> I'm at a gym in China. Well, I'm happy to announce there is indeed a new Chinese video game system called Edu. I love this Chinese family. Oh my gosh, I love how the dad's playing it. He's been deprived of video games his whole life. He's finally getting to play. What does my shirt say? It says Yao Ming, you know the tall basketball player. Here we have Zola. Turtle on a Stick. He's yelling at me, telling me not to give him a video. <laughs> Basically, if you only get three votes, and not four, you get the, the loser badge. Well, I was told I didn't sing a Chinese song. I have a whopping ten minutes to prepare a freaking Chinese song. So, pressure, um, yeah. so I made a friend. pretty good. I'm just here in Suzhou. This is where I live. It's a really cool place. We got all these shops and eateries over here. The nice river, cool lights, it's a massive shopping place. You might call it a mall. A road. Then on the other side we got KFC. That whole top level is all KFC and it's full of people. Uh, more river, more shops and stuff and 
This is the LED screen. It's the longest one in the world. Um, unfortunately, it's not on right here. It's only on over there right now. Not sure why. But anyways, this is wonderful pseudo. I'm going to take a lap around the building. That was really boring. So, as I continue to introduce, we introduce each other to each other's cultures here at my new apartment, we want to watch a funny American movie. <laughs> so I've chosen no other movie than Hot Rod. <laughs> I hope they like it. I have a pinched nerve, and it's making me ornery. I've never received more thorough butt massage in my life. It was amazing. We pulled over because they had to pee. The only place you'll see Chinese people wear cowboy hats. Hello! <laughs> standing outside of the bathroom, like he is right now, and see people inside taking a pee. It's kind of different, but you know, whatever. Chinese maze. We're actually lost in this maze. Like at first we were like, oh fine, a maze, we'll go do it. No, we're no, lost. We're just being like, oh, this is gonna be so lame. Easy. <laughs> oh my gosh, I have no idea where I am. Uh, I'm sitting on a kayak in the middle of a pretty small lake next to a pretty cool mountain ridge. It's a serene sight. I didn't have a partner. The army decided to join us. 